massage. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is a very ultimate like glam Valentine's Day makeup look. It's not for the faint hearted but girl is it gorgeous. So it's very like I've incorporated a lot of the like pinks and reds and like corally I want to say corally like peachy tones into the look just to like give you this. It's very glowy skin. I do like a, another technique that I've learnt to go like a more natural highlight but it's still popping kind of thing so if you guys want to stick around to the end to watch that i recommend it <laughs> uh, i have done a few other like tutorials on valentine's day last year if you guys want to check them out because i don't know how much time i'll have to pre-film another valentine's day look that's more wearable for you guys i did a really glam one because it was so much fun but i do want to do a more wearable one for you guys but i don't know how i'll go time wise before i go away because i'll be going away during feb so hopefully i'll make of our pre film one for you guys. But if you guys are interested in how I got this glamified Valentine's Day makeup look, then please stay watching, hun. Hey guys, so let's go into this Valentine's Day makeup look. And can we just take a moment to say, like, my skin has broken out a little bit. I think I reacted to something upon my face. Like, I don't know what it was, or maybe it's just something I ate. Who knows? But just gonna ignore the fact that I have, you know, a couple extra heads in my face. <laughs> Don't mind if you can hear like people mowing their lawns or cutting down something. I don't know what they're doing, but there's a lot of background noise today. The neighbours are doing stuff, so bear with me. We'll just try and move past that. Okay, let's get into the eyes, shall we? So I've already primed my lids with my Mac so soft. <laughs> My Mac so I did it again. My Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I did my brows and stuff like that as well. I'll leave a tutorial linked up above if you'd like to check it out. But I'm just gonna move on to the eye look because it is a nice extravagant Valentine's Day look today. Like, yes. So we're gonna first take this soft orange shade from my Morphe 350 palette and apply this from my inner part of my eye to the outer corner. And I'm focusing the product kind of in the crease more here rather than up towards the brow. And then as I blow it out here, I'm bringing it up towards my brow. So it kind of like, whoosh, kind of thing. I swear though, like they weren't mowing before I started filming. And as soon as I turned the camera on, it's like, and I'm like, thanks. Next I'm taking this like pinky peachy blush shade from my Morphe 9 and Naturally Blush palette. I'm just going to apply that in the crease the same way we applied that orangey shade. And again I'm blending it up like towards the brow bone on the outer part of the eye. And because I want it to be a bit more pinkier in the crease, and I'm going to mix like a cool tone colour, so I'm taking custard. I know it's a cool tone, like undertone, but I was like, screw it, I don't really have another pinky colour. So I'm going to use custard from my Juvia's Place palette. But if you guys have like something not so cool tone, then probably be best, but I don't, so I'm just going to wing it and see how this goes. Huh. It actually looks okay. I think that blush makes it help it like blend in a lot smoother. I actually quite like it. So I thought with a warm, two warm undertone shadows and then like a cool tone it would contrast badly but it actually looks pretty good. And then taking those previous like blush and orange shade, I'm just buffing out the edges to soften it. Then I'm going to take my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm going to apply this through the crease, um, probably just above as well to carve out the lid area. And I'm bringing it all the way, almost to the outer corner. I'm just blending the edge out with my finger. So it doesn't have that harsh line. It's just kind of like fades. You know, beb. To set the front portion of the concealer in place, I'm taking Ice Queen from Makeup Geek. And I'm applying this, like I said, to like the inner part of the cut crease. This brush is doing nothing for me right now. I'm going to switch. What? Better? Like, the other brush is good, it just wasn't, um, 
packing the pigment as heavy as heavily as I would like because I want it to be pretty opaque and because we didn't set it like the concealer in place it's just gonna stick to that concealer super good it's like a little base for it because before I was all about like setting it super fast so that it wouldn't like crease and now I'm like oh it'd be right Next, taking Bitten from Makeup Geek, I'm going to pack this on to my outer corner of my eye to build up the outer V area and also I'm going to bring it slightly through the crease, like the outer part of the crease. Actually, like, I might switch to a pencil brush just because my teat one's a bit too fluffy. I need it to be a bit more compact so I can get it right along the edge of that crease kind of thing and then taking custard on from the dubious place palette I'm going to buff out the edges of bitten with that then taking these two deep brown shades from the morphe palette I'm going to place them on on the very outer corner of the eye I'm kind of creating like a slight smoky liner with this look Kind of thing, so I'm kind of going from the outer corner lashes and through the outer part of the crease and just soften it with some of Bitten. Next, taking puffs from the Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to pack this on not from the very inner corner but kind of continuing on from where we put Ice Queen. Create like a little gradient, add a bit more pink into the look because it is Valentine's Day. And I'm just sharpening up the cut crease again with some of the um, puffs colour and I use a bit of finishing spray to help it apply more foiled and I have more control over the application. Next, taking Tarte on a more precise brush, I'm going to apply this right on the center of the lid for a bit of like a pinky, like, duochrome fluorescent pop, you know, it's got pinky purpleness to it, so it's going to be real pretty. I'm even mixing a bit of custard in with it so that it shows up a bit more pinkier. And taking Bitten and just like softening the edges and this is just on like a petite crease brush because the brush is sparse and sparse so it won't apply it too heavily you just kind of like feather it on which is what I'm going for and you know what guys I think I might even like make it smokier on the outer corner and add a black so I'm going to take this black shade from my Morphe 35W palette and just place that on in like that smoky outer corner, like kind of like a liner look. And just smoking the edges out with those browns. I might do like a winged liner, but on the outer corner I think I might leave the inner blank. We'll just see how it goes, we'll see where it takes us, shall we? So I'm first going to draw the liner on with my Hayley Baldwin for Model Co Liquid Liner. I like it because the tip's easy to control so I can create even wings on my eyes without having to worry about it going everywhere. And then I'll fill it in with my Milani, um, I think it's the Everlast Liquid Liner. Oh, it's in the shade Everlast, but it's the Infinite Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to fill it in because it's quite pigmented, whereas the Morpho Model Co. one isn't as pigmented as I, was li I would like. And I'm just going in with some of that black on the very outer part of the eye. So the lashes I went in with today are the Anitude lashes in the style Sultry. I thought they were super wispy and like very fluffy and I was like oh I think I'll apply these. They've also got like a thicker outer corner than inner corner so they really elongate the eyes and kind of go with that eye shape that we've created today. So I really I really quite like these lashes. They're very extravagant, very dramatic. Mm. So we're going to move on to our skin. I'm going to prep it with my 100% pure mattifying primer. This is going to help not only like mattify my skin, but just give it a bit of a boost. For foundation, I'm taking my Ready Set Gorgeous 
um, CoverGirl foundation in the shade 210 medium beige. So before I conceal, I'm actually going to go in with my cream bronzer. I'm going in with the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. And I'm applying this to the perimeters of my face. Just for a bit of extra glam. This is a very glam Valentine's Day makeup look. And I love how cream products look on the skin. Like They have a really natural finish. So I'm going to go in with a few creams today. So I'm going to cream contour as well today. You guys can skip this if you want. I feel like cream bronzer is probably enough, but I want to go the extra mile. So I'm going to place the darkest cream from the Australis contour kit um, on the cheekbones of my face. And I think on the chin and nose area too. And just a couple dubs up top. And again, I'm just blending it in with my beauty sponge from EcoTools. And now there's the cream contouring dum. I really like the contour and bronze light. The cream just makes such a natural finish. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen and applying this under the eyes and also under the cheekbones to really carve out that contour. And I'm just applying it to feel the little breaky out some more skin. Oh and also the tip of my nose. I'm just taking a brush to blend it out. Just because I feel like a brush blends out the concealer better for me but lately i've been loving it and the last cream product that i'm going to use today is my maybelline master strobing liquid i flippin love this stuff i use it in all my tutorials i just love it guys i just love it i'm going to apply this just to the high points of my cheekbones tip of my nose and cupid's bow next i'm taking some pressed powder and i'm applying this anywhere that i place the concealer down to lock it in place and also create a nice long lasting base. I'm also applying it under the contour area where I place that concealer. Next I'm taking my full spectrum eyeliner pencil from Makeup Geek in the shade Obsidian and I'm applying this to my tight line and waterline. Then taking that black eyeshadow again I'm just going to buff that along the black eye curl underneath the waterline. Then taking those two deep browns again on a pencil brush, I'm going to buff out that black. Then taking Tarte and Custard again on a pencil brush, I'm going to place this on the inner corner bottom part of the lash line. Then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen. I'm literally just applying it to the very inner points and the very arch of the brow. Ooh, girl. And then I just applied some bottom lash mascara to finish off the eyes. To finish with the rest of the face, I'm going to go in and bronze. So I'm taking my Barbados Babe um, Miscellane Bronzer. And with my Tapered Chi Bronzer Brush, I'm going to just start bronzing the complexion. Basically, wherever I place down that cream bronzer, I'm going to apply some of that powder bronzer. So I know I cream contoured and everything and sometimes I like to just leave it with the cream contour and just do the bronzer but today is not one of those days. I'm going to intensify that contour with these two um, kind of cooler toned browns from my NYX contour and highlight kit. So for blush I actually wasn't like planning on doing any, any blush today, I was just going to keep it with like the bronzer but then I thought it is Valentine's Day and you kind of do want to have that bit of flush of colour to the cheeks. So I'm going to take my infatuation shade from Makeup Geek, it's a cute little muted tone blush, and I'm applying that to the contours of the face and bringing whatever's left to the apples of the cheeks. So for highlight today, I'm going to do like a different trick to what I usually do. So I'm going to take my beauty sponge and my setting spray, this is the Urban Decay one. And I'm actually going to just spritz the side of my sponge, don't mind that's you know, dirty. I'm going to rub it into the two highlight shades from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. The Ice Queen shade and the Nectar shade. And with like a generous amount on the sponge, I'm going to apply this to the high points of the cheeks. And it's just going to help the product melt into the skin. It won't look like a white cast or like just a line of highlight on the cheekbones. It's actually going to melt in. I'm applying it just on the high points here, like above the brow. Chin as well, just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. 
and I'll hit that tip of the nose and then take your spritz and take your spritz and stay. Take your setting spray and just spritz it all over the face. And the skin is done now. The lips, I'm thinking like nude and glossy. So I'm going to first of all take my lip liner from R Rimmel, I think it is, in the shade 049 Natural. And slightly overline my lips. Pat out the edges so they're not so like, it's not like such a harsh line, it's kind of like, it fades into like the overline of the lips. I'm going to take my Bonjourist Paris 3D Effect Lip Gloss in the shade Rose Romantic. It's such a pretty pinky shade. So, so fitting for like Valentine's Day. It's subtle, it's soft, it's very flattering. Oh, it's gorgeous. The only thing with this lip gloss is that it is definitely not long wearing. So if you wear this lipstick, you will have to apply it like quite regularly if you're eating or something like that. If you're talking, no, nah, it'd, it'd be fine. But if you're drinking, eating, like you're on a date, I'd bring it. I'd bring it with you just because you're going to have to reapply it. Okay, so keep that in mind. But... This concludes today's Valentine's Day makeup look. I hope you got a lot out of it. Found it fun. It's very like glam. It's not very subtle. I might do a more subtle wearable Valentine's Day look. Uh, I'm not quite sure just time wise how I'll go, but I'll try to do another tutorial for you guys. But I know I've, I've done a few other tutorials, guys. So if you do want to check them out, I'll leave them linked down below if you'd like to check them out. Um, or you know, at the end of this video, I hope probably have a couple of them sitting right here but otherwise i hope to see you in my next video have an amazing day enjoy valentine's day if you're single if you're with someone have an amazing time and i'll see you soon Mwah. bye